Hello, welcome to Dr. Campbell's science demo. Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell and you're watching Dr. Campbell's science demo. Today we're going to be looking at gravity and we're going to be checking that the laws of gravity haven't changed in the last 400 years or so. So let's think about a little experiment in our heads. Say if I were to take two beer cans and I were to maybe have one empty and one full of beer or some other liquid and I were to climb step ladder with these beer cans and drop them off at exactly the same time. Which one do you think would hit the earth first? assuming they fell the same distance? Well, I can tell you, it's a trick question, because they both hit the ground at the same time, essentially. So, uh, I think we should go and find out. Let's go outside. Okay, so let's have a think about what's going on here. First of all, what is gravity? Well, it's a force of nature. It's a force that causes two objects to attract one another. So, the beer can attracts the earth, and the earth attracts the beer can. Okay, take my word for it. Okay, the gravitational field strength of the earth is, uh, that's, at the earth's surface, it's around about 9.806 newtons per kilogram. So, uh, if you go up, that force will decrease if you if you uh, move sideways, it will vary a, li a little bit as well because of the density of the rocks beneath you. But essentially, it's around about 9.806 newtons per, per, kil per kilogram. And that force causes objects to accelerate at 9.806 meters per second per second. So everything accelerates at the, at the same time, regardless of its mass. Um, now, there are, there's one, ca one caveat to that. That's the atmosphere tends to get in the way. And when something's dropping, there's friction between the object and the, the air, the atmosphere around it. So that's how a parachute sto uh, sh stops you from going splat into the earth. And it's also the reason why a feather falls very slowly. If you were to say uh, parachute in a vacuum or drop a feather in a vacuum, then you would, you would accelerate at 9.806 meters per second per second. So it's the air resistance there. Now, for our beer cans, they're the same size and they're the same shape. So the air re resistance to each can is the same, or of negligible difference. So the only real difference is that one, one's got about half a kilogram of liquid in it and the other one doesn't. And yet, you drop them off a ladder and they land at the same time. So I think that only goes to show good old Galileo. Okay, so there's lots more I could say about gravity. Uh, I won't go on. I suggest you maybe get on the World Wide Web and have a look at Wikipedia, always a good, good resource. Um, good names to look up are Galileo Galilei and his leading tower of pizza experiment, apparently. Um, Isaac Newton, he had a lot to say on gravity. Um, the Reverend Jay Mitchell, who invented some equipment to measure gravitational forces between two objects, and Henry Cavendish, who obtained that, that equipment and actually put it into practice and measured a gravitational constant. Okay, I think that's all for today. So next time we will, I think, be turning our attention to the field of biology. So see you then. Bye.